What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. You guys are new to my channel, Cancer, and you enjoy my content. You just smash the sub button to be notified for, for future readings. This is free general collective reading for the sign of Cancer. This resonates if you have Cancer any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Moon, Haven, Jupiter, charge. Stuff get the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. Appreciate all the new subscribers and love and support to my channel. I do, I do, I do, do. I did receive one channel message as I was meditating on your energy cancer. I heard a child's tea ball game and a child's wreck ball game is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. So I feel for one, you could be a parent of a child's tea ball or wreck ball um, team, or you could be a coach of the child's tea ball or wreck ball team, or you could be a a family member or friend in the stands or somebody that hears about this somehow a child's t-ball and wreck ball game is about to become very significant in a cancer's life however you plug into that cancer okay <clears throat> spirit messages you have reflective t-ball is obviously like softball baseball for anybody who doesn't know t-ball is like softball baseball okay Incot problems to be resolved, gavel, involvement with the law. Spirit messages you have reflected. Dolphin, financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. Experience to just share with the sign of cancer. Huge perspective changing com uh, change coming for a cancer. Huge. Okay, I heard a huge perspective change coming for a cancer. Uh, huge perspective change. So, for one of you guys, you've got a huge perspective change coming. For one of you guys. I'm feeling for some it could be because there's problems that need to be solved or something to do with the law or police or something of that nature or money because we have financial gain usually coming for something from something you did in the past. Frog. An FBI agent is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. For one, you are stepping up to the plate and you're about to contact the FBI. For one, they're about to contact you and you're about to be shot. For one, you are a reader. For one, you're not. Okay. Whoa. So FBI agent energy strong. Whether you're whether you're contacting free willingly contacting the FBI or they're or they're contacting you. Whether you're a tarot card reader or you're not. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. For one, you're about to step up to the plate and contact the FBI with some kind of important information or what have you, what have you. For one, the FBI is going to contact you, it sounds like. For one, you're a tarot card reader. For one, you're not a tarot card reader. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Heavy FBI involvement. Whether you're free willing, you're calling them or somebody else is or what have you, what have you. I think that's the problem to be solved. I mean, obviously, if you're contacting the FBI, there's some serious ass reason why you're doing it, and that's just the truth. Involvement with the law, that could be the FBI. Just saying, just saying. For some, I feel intuitively the reason you're contacting the FBI has to do with the water sign or a fire sign, possibly. Um, I didn't hear that. I just intuitively, intuitively feel that for some. Uh, they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Aries, Leo, Sag, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, Charts, if you are. 
frog. A rainstorm is about to become very significant in a cancer's life and a tornado and a hurricane. A rainstorm, a tornado, and a hurricane is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. So for one of you guys, a rainstorm, a tornado, and a hurricane is about to become very significant in your life. For one, for one of you guys, one could become significant for one, two, or two plus. But I heard rainstorm, uh, tornado, and hurricane. Um, a lot of rain here with the card with the frog energy. That could be the rainstorm or the hurricane. Um, rain, 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 rain. Weather, actual physical weather elements here. Whether it's a rainstorm, hurricane, or the tornado. It sounds like they are upcoming. And I feel for some you're going to take shelter with the solitude. Solitude is like a long time. Um, it's like a long time. Oneness, stillness to yourself like hermit mode but i feel you're going to take cover from the rainstorm the tornado or the hurricane or at least i hope you will myrtle beach is uh significant for one cancer and Pensacola, and a rainbow. Myrtle Beach, Pensacola, and a rainbow is very significant for one of you guys. So Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Pensacola, Florida, and a rainbow. I feel you could have already visited Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, or you're about to, or somebody you're connected to has or is about to. Pensacola, Florida, so you already could have visited Pensacola, Florida, or you're about to, or somebody you're connected to has or is about to. And then a rainbow. Maybe you like rainbows. Rainbow is a significant in your life in some shape, form, or fashion, or significant to somebody you're connected to. But we have rainbow, Pensacola, Florida, and Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Significant. I feel for some it could have rained in Myrtle Beach or Pensacola if you visited these place, or places or you're about to visit these places. Maybe it's going to rain. Maybe it's going to be a hurricane. Maybe it's going to be a rain, rainstorm, rainstorm or thun, thunderstorm. Intuitively, I feel that. Uh, but you plug in how it resonates. Cheetah. You know, there's a Libra very, 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 very heavily attempting to copy somebody. Very heavily attempting to copy somebody. It is about to backfire on this person in a huge way. It is an older Libra feminine. For one, for one, it is a uh, teenager Libra fem. 18. 18. Okay, that's specific. Okay, so there's two Libra fems trying to copy somebody. It could be you they're trying to copy cancer or somebody else they're trying to copy. But we've got an 18-year-old, very specific, I heard, 18. 18-year-old 18 Libra, Libra Femme. She had Libra in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them, and handle Jupiter charts. So she's an adult Libra. She's 18. She's not a minor. But she's very young, I'll tell you that. She's trying to copy somebody. I heard that's about to backfire. So it could be you she's about to try, trying to copy or somebody you're connected to. Um, and an older Libra adult Femme. So... I'm feeling 35, 36 or above. She had Libra in any aspects of her charts. Her, she's trying to copy somebody too. A Libra, um, not a Libra, uh, another fem. But I heard that's about to copy, to, uh, copy. I can't speak. Holy crap, man. That's about to backfire too. Whether um, it's you she's trying to copy cancer or somebody else. But we have an 18-year-old Libra fem trying to copy somebody. And a 35, 36 or above Libra fem trying to copy somebody. And those are both about to backfire. So you plug it in how it resonates cancer. Cheetah.
Someone tried to file a missing persons report on an adult. That's about to backfire in a huge way. They are an adult. It is about to embarrass the hell out of the person that filed the missing persons report on this person. What the hell, man? That's like the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my damn life. And that's just the truth. Okay, so it could be you that filed this missing persons report on somebody or somebody, maybe you're an adult and somebody filed the missing report, uh, missing persons report on you. I heard it, whoever the hell it was, whether it's a cancer that filed the missing persons report on another adult or you cancer and somebody filed the missing persons report on you and you're an adult, you're an adult. I mean, whoever filed the missing person report on another person, they are an adult is what I'm saying. That's dumb as hell. They're free to make whatever decisions they want to make. And that's just the truth. But I heard it's about to seriously backfire on them. They're about to be severely embarrassed. They're about to get a very shocking phone call from the police they do not want to hear. They're about to get a very shocking phone call from the police they do not want to hear is what I heard. So whoever... Okay, I feel for some of you cancers, you're an adult, and they tried to file a missing persons police report on you, but you're a grown-ass adult. But they tried to file a missing persons on you, persons police report on you. I heard whoever the hell did it, if, it, if you're the one they filed a missing persons police report on, they're about to get a call from the police, and they're about to be publicly embarrassed. If you're the one that filed the missing persons police report on somebody cancer, a grown-ass adult, basically. Just know you're about to get a call from the police and I heard you're about to be embarrassed as hell. So you have to plug yourself into the mix so if you resonate. I think that's the dumbest-ass damn thing I've ever heard in my damn life. I'm not the damn truth. Ink pot problems to be resolved. A cancer is about to find out about someone's house about to get repossessed. Foreclosed. Foreclosed upon. Your home is paid off. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Okay, so for who, whatever cancers this resonates for, your home is paid off. So free and clear. You have the deed, I'm feeling. Like the free and clear deed. Whoever this is for. And, um, uh, you're about to find out about somebody else, though. Your home is free and clear and paid off. Deed and proper, in your proper possession and everything. Whether you paid it off or somebody else paid it off for you, whatever you will have you, but your shit's paid off. And that's just true. But somebody, you're about to find out somebody else is about to get a house, um, foreclosed upon. So they're about to, t the bank or the mortgage company is about to take, pro um, at seize the property because the bill's not being paid basically the mortgage isn't being being paid i heard it's about to shock the hell out of you so problems to be resolved is a foreclosure in this aspect but it's not you it's not you it is another person i heard you're about to be shocked i heard your home's paid off so involvement with the law i think is the mortgage company the i don't know if they get police involved in foreclosures i don't know i've never been involved with foreclosure, uh, foreclosure issue. I paid my mortgage every single month for five years, so I have no idea how that works. Maybe the police get involved, maybe they don't. I'm not sure. But I heard you're going to be shocked. I think they're going to want to go hide, run and hide, because they'll be embarrassed. Their shit got foreclosed upon. I'm just being for real.
For one, you're about to move out of a home that has a lot of roommates. In with your parents for one, in with your partner for one. Okay, for one of you guys, you're about to move out of a home that has a lot of roommates. So it sounds like right now you live in a home that has a, um, a lot of roommates. So I'm, I heard a lot of a lot of roommates. So I'm assuming maybe three or three plus roommates. I'm assuming. Um, and you're one of the roommates, but you're about to move out. You're about to move out. One of you guys back in with your parents. One in with the partner. Her's going to benefit you in a huge way. So problems to be resolved. I think maybe you are having issues or problems with your roommates. Um, or you didn't like it there. Living with all these roommates. Um, I'm feeling it's at least three or three, three plus roommates you, you had there, Cancer. But you're about to solve it by either moving back in with your parents or... Uh, moving in with the partner because you want more quiet time, alone time to yourself and not having to have so many roommates is what I'm presuming. Gavel, involvement with the law. A cancer and a Sagittarius is about to get into a huge argument. For one, they live with each other. For one, they work on the same police police force. For one, they're family members. For one, they're family members. Okay. A cancer and a Sag is about to get in a huge argument. And one of these situations, they're they're on the same police force, mask and femme cancer, mask and femme sag. They're police officers, officers of the law on the same force. They're about to get an argument. For one, they are family members, the cancer and the sag, mask and femme cancer, mask and femme sag. And for one, they are, um, what was the other one? Um, I forget the third one. You have to go back and check it. Whatever third one was, but they're about to get an argument. Oh, they're partners. They're partners. So they live in the same home. So some kind of home squabble. Um, I feel for some, the police might get called on them possibly. I didn't hear it was going to, but I feel it might. Um, but for one of them, they are officers of the law. Now, why the hell they're getting in an argument? I don't know. I mean, hell, just because you're officer of law don't mean you're perfect. I mean, I'm sure police officers get in damn arguments all the time. But, um, uh, Two police officers are about to get in an argument. Apparently, it's significant in this reading for at least one of you cancers. For one, you are a judge. And this argument is about to get so bad, you are about to hear about it. It's not going to be resolved in your courtroom, but you will hear about it. You are a judge that works in criminal matters at, at a jail. You are a judge that works at, uh, with criminal matters at a jail. So you're a cancer judge that works with criminal matters at a jail, but I guess that's why you know these two police officers. This argument is going to be very significant, but apparently you, cancer judge, you work with criminal matters. You work at a jail or near a jail or with the officer's and the jail, I'm presuming, cancer judge. I heard it's not being resolved in your courtroom. Their argument. So it, it doesn't sound like their little squabble is going to like be in front of you for some kind of criminal matters is what I'm saying. But somehow you're going to hear about it. It sounds like behind the scenes. I think you know these people behind the scenes is what I'm trying to say. Um, I think you know them. Um, you work at a jail or with people in the jail are police officers at a jail and I think that's why you're about to hear about it not because these two are about to come into to your actual courtroom for work related criminal 
matters in your courtroom. It is sounds like behind the scenes, you are a cancer judge. Somehow that's significant for one of you cancer judges. And the other two situations, the police might get called. I didn't hear they were going to, but one of them is like a civil um, situation inside a home. And the other one is, uh, uh, what was the other one? I forget the other one. You have to go back and check it. <laughs> Someone is about to go to jail that you would have never expected. It's about to shock the hell out of you. And for, for one, someone's about to get sentenced to prison and it's about to shock the hell out of you and you never thought it would happen. Whoa! For one, someone's about to go to jail. You never thought uh, they would go to jail. So that's for one of you guys. It's not you, it's somebody else. You never thought they would go to jail, but they're about to go to jail. That's for one of you guys. For one, somebody's about to get sentenced to prison. I heard you never thought they'd get sentenced to prison. It's not you, cancer. It's somebody else. But they're about to get sentenced to prison. So involvement with the law, whether it's jail, prison, or what have you, what have you. Somebody's about to go to jail. That's not you. That you never thought would go to jail for one of you guys. For one, they're about to get sentenced to prison. You never thought they'd get sentenced to prison. That's for one of you guys. Damn. Dolphin, financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. Four hundred one k money is about to become very significant in cancer's life. Four hundred one four hundred one k money and videos you did in the past. Four hundred one k money. That um, 401k money is about to become very significant in your life, Cancer. So I feel it could be your money out of a 401k, um, a retirement account, or somebody else's 401k money. Hopefully, you're not stealing somebody's 401k shit. Just saying, just saying. Uh, but somehow, 401k money is about to become significant in your life, Cancer, whether it's yours or somebody else's. Hopefully, you stealing that shit. I hope your ass gets sent to prison. Just saying. Uh, not saying you are, but I'm just throwing that out there. And for one, some kind of videos you did in the past. So I think you put them on a public platform to make money off them. That's what I feel. Um, it can, I feel it could be any kind of videos, but you are going to get some kind of financial gain from them and you did them in the past. So I feel you put them on a public platform to get a, to gain money off of them. Exactly what I think. And that's just damn true. I'm for real. Um, so whatever videos, I didn't hear what kind of videos they are, but it is definitely some kind of public platform videos you did in the past. I think they're already on a public platform, but they're about to get more attention, more views, or more uh, what have you, what have you. And for one, it is 401k money. So you plug it in how it, res how it resonates. For one, you're about to quit your job soon. You work at a skilled nursing facility. And move back home. Okay, for one of you guys, you're about to quit your job soon. You work at a skilled nursing facility, and you're about to move back home. Auburn, Alabama. Auburn, Alabama. So for one, you um, work at a skilled nursing facility, but you don't live in Auburn, Alabama right now, it sounds like, but you're from Auburn, Alabama. If this resonates for you. You're from Auburn, Alabama, if this resonates for you, but you don't live in Auburn, Alabama right now. You work at a skilled nursing facility in another city, town, province, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I heard soon you're about to quit the job at the skilled nursing facility, whatever city or town or whatever, whatever at the end, and you're about to move back home to Auburn, Alabama. How that resonates and applies, cancer. Think you like the solitude or you miss being back home or you miss something about your hometown. Maybe it's quieter there. Maybe you can have solitude there. Maybe it's more peaceful there. You plug in how it resonates, but one of you guys, your hometown's in Auburn, Alabama. 
and you're about to and you work at a skilled nursing facility. So I feel you can be any occupation, janitorial staff, housekeeping, RN, LPN, administrator, um, administrative, um, how that resonates, case manager, what have you, what have you, okay? Solitude. The mountains are about to become a very positive part of a cancer's life. And for one, you're about to search someone of your past, a feminine energy of your past on social media. She has blonde hair. And you're about to find her and you're about to re reconnect with her. It's about to be a very positive part of your life. You're a cancer masculine. Okay, so mountains are about to become a very positive part of your life for one of you guys. Uh, how that resonates and applies. Um, I think you like the mountains or you like hiking or you like um, something to do or mountain biking or something to do with uh, mountains. Some kind of mountainous terrain. Maybe you like glamping on the mountains, but something to do with the mountains for one. And for one, you it's some kind of reconnection coming up, but you're going to, it sounds like if this resonates for you, you're masculine cancer. And it's a feminine energy of your past. So I feel she can be anybody. You have to plug her in how she resonates in your own particular life, Cancer. Only you know your situation story, not anybody else. But it's a feminine energy of your past. She has blonde hair. And um, I heard you are going to search her on Facebook. So the social media platform I heard was Facebook. You're going to search her on Facebook. I heard you are going to find her. And you're going to reach out to her. And I heard once you reach out to her, it's going to be very positive communication. Uh, I heard you're going to be glad you did. So she, I think she brought positivity to your life or happiness to your life or some kind of positive, something positive to your life in some shape, form, or fashion. Because if she didn't, I don't think you'd want to reach out to her. And that's just the damn truth. I mean, who the hell wants to reach out to a damn grumpy bear or a malicious Mike or a malicious um, Molly or somebody that hurt or harmed them? Not I, said the little red hen, and that's just the damn truth, you know? So I think she brought positivity into your life or happiness into your life or something of that nature. But I heard you're going to be glad you did. Um, it's, it sounds like it's you going to initiate it, sir. You're a cancer masculine. She has blonde hair, whoever she is. But you are about to search her on Facebook search, if that resonates for you, sir. I think you're about to think about this in solitude or hermit mode before you do it, or you're going to connect with her in the privacy and quietness of your space. About to do it in private. About to do it in private is what I heard. So you're about to connect and reach out with her in private. So there's a reason you're about to connect and reach out to her in private. Um, in the solitude of your own space and quiet of your own space. She has blonde hair. She's a feminine energy of your past. You plug it in how it resonates cancer. Let me see if I hear anything else. <clears throat> a broken sink is about to become very significant in cancer's life. And someone named Stephen. A broken sink is about to become very significant in Cancer's life and someone named Stephen. So you plug it in how it resonates Cancer. A broken sink is about to become significant in your life. So I don't know how it might be your sink that's broken or somebody else's sink that's broken. But somebody's sink's already broken or is about to be broken. Um, somehow it's about to become significant in your life. Some kind of broken sink. Hell, maybe you break the break uh, the broken sink if you have some wild sex. Hell, I don't know what you do and don't do, but some something to do with a broken sink. 
And for one, somebody named Stephen, it's very significant in your life. So you plug it in how it resonates there or cancer, okay? For one, Stephen is your brother. For one, they are someone you met on online dating. For one of you guys, Stephen is your brother. And for one, it's someone you met on online dating. So for one of you guys, Stephen is your actual brother. So foster brother, biological brother, somebody you call a brother. And for one, it's someone, Stephen is somebody you met on online dating. So you plug it in how it resonates, cancer. All right, I love you guys. I'm going to say.